government has identified all of these 29 victims. There have been over 600 mass shootings in 2015. ISIS has declared responsibility for the attack. A volley of gunshots in the night, carnage mounting inside the injured on the ground outside. Just moments after her boyfriend, Philando Castillo, was shot by police during a traffic stop. It's underway in Saudi and Cairo, Egypt. Dozens of people, mostly women and children, murdered in a bomb. I believe that Christ is coming again, and the kingdom of God is going to triumph. And those of us that know Christ and have the kingdom of God within us, we are going to reign with Christ. I'm looking forward to that day. When he comes again, and he said two will be in the bed, one taken, the other left. Two might be flying in an airplane, one taking the other left. Now the road to Armageddon is similar to the road to the destruction of Sodom, said Jesus. Now notice they had that false security. We have a false security too. We trust in our economic strength and our military power. All of that could go in a, just a moment. Isaiah, the 31st chapter in the first verse says, Woe to them that go to a pagan country for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots, but they look not unto God, neither seek the Lord. They're not looking to God. We're not seeking the Lord. We're trusting these other things. We're trusting in our dollars and in our pounds, trusting in our military power. And these things will not save us. We need God. This time I'm right on. I don't want no trouble. I can feel your struggle, yeah. We can make it better. Bring me together. This time I'm right on. Oh, my. Oh, my. They don't care how I live. Shooter alert reported at Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. It's a very large place, 66,000 students here, right in the middle of a large uh, municipality, Columbus, Ohio. Students, teachers, faculty, everyone urged to shelter in place and avoid the area. Where was God? And I use that word just because that's what happens after car wrecks and tsunamis and floods and swine flu. Why this one? People die from swine flu. I'm talking about all the miseries that come into your life. As soon as they come, millions of people. So where is God? Was my son? I don't want to give him credit, but it wasn't him. Somebody tweeted the other day after the crash. Don't laugh at this. This is serious. I'm trying to be funny. They, they, they tweeted after the uh, plane went down just off Brazil, you know, strewn bodies for 50 miles, everybody's dead. One plane crash, no, 10,000 safe landings every day, and God gets no credit. One crash, and God's got to give an account. That's the way we are. So everybody asks, Where's God? So I ask, where's God? When Satan put it in Judas's heart to kill his son. You know the answer to that. It's very controversial. We, we sing about it from the day we're three, not realizing how unbelievably controversial and horrific this is. First, we answer by saying, God was in heaven fulfilling dozens of detailed scriptures written hundreds of years 
before the sins happened that fulfilled them. I'll just read you a few of them. The scriptures prophesy that evil men will reject Jesus when he comes. Matthew 21, 42. Have you never read the scriptures? The stone that this builders rejected has become the cornerstone. The scriptures predict evil men reject Jesus. That's got to be fulfilled. Second, the scriptures prophesy that Jesus must be hated. John 15, 15, 25. The word that is written in their law must be fulfilled. They hated me without a cause. The sin of hating the Son of God is predicted. It must be fulfilled. Number three, the scriptures prophesy that the disciples would abandon Jesus. Matthew 26, 31. You will all fall away because of me this night. It was a sin when they abandoned Jesus like that, and it was a fulfillment of Scripture. Number four, the Scriptures prophesy that Jesus will be pierced, but none of his bones will be broken. And so you read in Psalm 34, 20, one of the, um, I mean, John 19, 34, one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear. That was sin. It's a sin to run the spear into the side of the Son of God. And it fulfills holy scripture. Number five, scriptures prophesy that Jesus would be betrayed by a close friend for 30 pieces of silver. Jesus said, I'm not speaking of all of you. I know whom I've chosen, but the scripture will be fulfilled. He who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. Or Matthew 26, 24, the Son of Man goes as it is written of him. But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. So my first answer is, where is God? When Judas is selling his son into death and Satan is rampaging to rub it in and make it as bad as possible. And the answer is, God is ruling in heaven to fulfill dozens of scriptures in those sins. Sin everywhere in fulfillment of holy scripture. You meant it for evil, Lucifer. God meant it for good. You meant it for evil, Adam. God meant it for good. You meant it for evil, Joseph's brothers. God meant it for good. Inside you, I just believe.